Now, many of you think that just because you put spin on the ball, that equals bending the ball, whipping the ball, making it dip. It does not, my friends. Today, we are going to show you how to put true whip and dip on the ball. Let's go. Crossbar. Oh, you wanted a no look. Let's start the vid. Now, most of you guys consider that if the ball is spinning like this, I'm bending the ball. That's not true. This is a straight shot. All right. The ball is spinning. The ball went straight. That looks like nonsense. What we really want is to find out if Shakira is telling the truth. Do the hips lie? No. Okay. Hips don't lie. That's what she said. All right. And if you want to have an excellent bend, whip, and dip on your shot, you are going to have to use your hip. So perfect form looks like this, the same way you would always normally shoot, except for the fact when you get to this, make sure that you're striking, obviously, down here, when we're trying to bend the ball for the most part, but all of the action comes from here. It comes from the hip, and you need to make sure that when you're following through, come landing on your kicking foot like that will give you the dip. If you just want it to bend, you need to swing your hip in the follow through. All right, once again, I'm gonna do it so you guys can see what happens when you just bend the ball by having a straight leg, a straight foot, all right? Kind of, I guess, but it's not really what we want. Here's what we want. All right, so because we are not talking about free kicks specifically today, we want you guys to know how to do this in the game. You have to keep the ball out at an angle, enough right here that I can then swing my hip back around like we talked about in order to bend it or dip it, which we'll get to here in a second. If the ball is straight on, you can use a knuckle, you can do other things with it, but this makes it very hard to bend the ball, right? You want it out at an angle. If you're right-footed, you want it out here, like this, okay? So that's the very first point. After that, guys, once you've taken this touch out here, make sure, some guys like to bend their run like here, some guys like to up on their toes like this. Figure it out yourself. Go out to the field, grab a bunch of balls, figure out what feels comfortable for you. Once you find it, stick with that, okay? Now, if I'm going and I want to actually make some dip out of this, you've got to use the underside of your foot and hit the underside of the ball, okay? Around here. That's gonna give you a much better chance of getting the ball up and then down. Now, how to get the ball down? Because if you hit it under and you look up, the ball is gonna go straight to the moon and it's never coming back. You just lost the ball. Okay, how do you feel about that? Now, if you want it to come back down, your hips, okay? Check the Shakira hypothesis. That's what we do, okay? Use the hips and you absolutely follow through and believe. It's kind of weird, but you start to feel like you have a connection with the ball and then you can make it, all right? You guys ever take a shot and start to move like this, like trying to move the ball, all right? Part of your follow through is actually involved in making that ball do that, okay? So you haven't lost your connection once you've actually ripped the shot. So the beauty of this is once you get it down, you can put movement into any of your shots, whether it's a dip, a bend, a knuckle. You just add that with your hip when you're going in on goal and you've got something. That's all you need. This is just the last point for you guys. If you're having a little bit of trouble dipping the ball or knuckling the ball, make sure that the ball is rolling away from you, okay? Take a touch, make sure when you hit it, the ball is rolling away from you and make sure to hit it underneath, but don't look up like we said. Keep your stomach tight, make sure you hit there, get that recoil on your shot, okay? Watch all the guys that you know do this, De Bruyne, Ronaldo, Bale, just everybody knows how to do this now, all right? But you just gotta follow that, okay? Ball forward, under, follow through. All right, so to give you guys more of an idea of what it looks like, we'll do this right-footed. There is no such thing as a weak foot. Make sure that ball is always rolling out like this. And there you go. Subscribe. My friends, that's the vid. You know what to do. If you really want to put this into your game, you have to incorporate it in training. Practice, practice, practice. Oh, what, what uh, practice, I said, practice. And then subscribe, go check the description box, goalarmy.com. My friends, we love you. We will see you guys later. I'm gonna put this in the back of the net. I don't even know if you can see the goal. You know what? All right, now you can see the goal. What if I toe poke this into the crossbar? Boom! Oh, what? What? That's exactly what I said I was gonna do, and we did it. See you later.